Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, thank you to all our returning viewers and uh, to all our subscribers. Thank you so much. And thank you for sharing all our content to those that are interested, to friends, or family. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in today's tutorial, I'll be talking about how to uh, display a full screen lyrics for your presentation for both lower third and the full screen you understand um, there are several questions that have been dropped in the comment section about how to do this and simultaneously right so you have um, your church screen uh, live display or bible passage display and at the same time you want the same thing to display on your live stream right so that is what we are going to do today so without taking much of our time let's dive into the video so first to those that are familiar with the um, obs or vmix whichever one you want to use but we'll be using obs now so you know every necessary train you need to do that uh, make sure you bring in your video capture card first and after bringing your video capture card make sure you set in every files that you needed for the live stream for the program and the next thing is uh let's go to easy worship if you are using easy easy worship uh, 6 or 6.5 or 7.1 or so uh, there are little slight configuration that you need to be aware about. The configuration on Easy Worship 6 is different from Easy Worship uh, 7.2 or 7.53 and so. But we'll be using Easy Worship 7.3 right now, and um, which is the latest one of the latest version of Easy Worship. Okay. So after you open your Easy Worship, um. You make sure that you set the theme of your songs and um, um, scripture. You make sure you set the theme, either to lower third or any theme you want to use. So you can find that from this um, window. So the next thing is you make sure you have available songs you want to display, right? So after that, you come to your edit. That if you are using easy worship 7.07.3 upward so you come to um edit then you click on option so when you click on option you have this bar display okay so but firstly you have to make sure that your projector is connected to the screen you want to use all right so you make sure your projector or whatever you want to use as an external or for the church viewing you make sure it's connected to the system properly right so and from there you have on uh, your output monitor where you have on uh, the monitor primary then you have the monitor secondary so for the primary is the main system which you are using this, um, for the program and the secondary is the external monitor connected to your system and that has to be maybe your auditorium monitor or your projector that's that so and if you connect any other monitor to your system and that if your system enable you connect to maybe three four five monitors it will be displayed here so whichever monitor you want to use you make sure you select it from this main output okay so you click on this um this main output output monitor click on secondary okay so leave this alpha channel disabled okay so once you've done that you come to default fonts click on this default font so from this default font you might want to do some uh, adjustment of alignment so you come to this alignment uh, you want your vertical alignment to be at center that is your text you want display on the in the auditorium okay so you want it to display at center to remain at center of course it's always like this okay so all you just need to do is uh, click on okay so as for this 
it is set for the auditorium then you come back to the um edit again then click on the option you have the window display again. now we want to set for the one for the live stream that's the lower torch okay so the lyrics display on the auditor in the auditorium will also display and and um uh, on your live stream okay so at the same time so you don't need to um share a, a, a system or you don't have to have 345 system before you can achieve that so if you have a very strong system you can actually achieve these settings we are uh, trying to set up so so the second setup output you click on the edit you have option then come back to fold back click on fold back so the moment you click on fold back okay so now we want to use output monitor this time around we have ndi stream so why we are using NDI streaming is because we are going to be using NDI to capture our low, lower touch in an uh, OBS studio. Okay. So now set the output here, NDI stream. Remember the first one you set for the auditorium is on the main. Remember, right? So come back to fold back then output monitor ndi okay so after that you can leave this because you need a quality display for for the lyrics right then the next thing is to set the um the lower thought that is to make to allow the lyrics or the scripture to display at the lower side of your system on your screen okay so the one at the auditorium in the auditorium will always remain at the center while the one for the live stream will remain at the bottom side of the screen okay so you click on um, fonts default song then remember what i told us the other time so leave this alignment you just come to the vertical align right so you click on bottom you always have it at either top or center but you click on bottom because you need it for the live stream you understand so please you can always do pause and play in order to get these settings very well just do pause and play in order to get this very well so you can just practice it over and over so you get used to it okay so the next thing is um click on okay click on okay now we are done we are done so and how do you want to know that this is actually working so the next thing is you open your obs right so let's assume that this is the video i want to um play or this is my video capture card the camera i input the camera um okay. let's get the media okay so this is the camera then the next thing let's bring in the ndi uh, source for the lyrics of the bible so you can name it any name you want to give it you can name it easy worship or lyrics or lower thought whatever you want to name it, you can give it here then click on ok so once you click on ok you have this box display and um, come to this source name click on this arrow beside the word so you already have the easy worship fold back you can see that right so you click on it then you don't have any other option so you don't just click every settings here it's okay then click on okay so the next thing now you see it's already displayed from our preview so while you are having this easy worship behind um okay uh, on the screen uh that's because i've not removed the uh, watermark okay but if your is worship is not registered of course uh you have this watermark so endeavor to make sure that you have a legit is worship <laughs> so right now um just make it through the screen set it accurately okay 
you can always take this up a bit depends on how you want it okay so then the next thing click on transition so that it can go live right now at this side it's not transit currently you still you're still on the preview side so you need it to go live so you click on transition so everything you have here everything you have here what switch to life yeah so everything you have here will switch to life so in order for you to know it if the um the auditorium side also is working so what you need to do is let's come back to easy worship then you click on live so the moment you click on live you should have it displayed in your auditorium so you can see it's already displayed just just um by clicking on live from the easy worship you have it displayed already you have it displayed so if i click on any um text here it's changed click on another one it's changed you see it's changed and the same thing happens to your lower tone let's check your lower tone click it's changed you see that it's changed right so and the same thing have applied to your bible verses so if you want to display a, a bible verse you can always so make sure that you, you set your bible verse to lower tone make sure you can decrease or increase the um font um well let's go back to songs that now so this is simple way this is for the auditorium and the other one is for the live stream you can see so this is the way to set up the full screen easy worship for your live stream this is the way to set up the full screen is worship for your live stream so if um, i'm sure you like this update and you like this tutorial i would appreciate you share this uh, tutorial with your friends that are also into uh, church media um in order for them to understand how they can easily set up this so kindly click on like button and uh, drop a comment and subscribe Thank you so much for your time and don't forget to click on the bell in order for you to be receiving all our updates for every for every um, content we drop on our channel. Thank you and stay blessed. Bye.